people should pay attention to action, not just words. But that aside, you are in the midst of a pretty down and dirty campaign to, to become the next Macomb County Public Works Commissioner. Hey, you know, talking about Trump's remarks, there's certainly no excuse for Trump's remarks. None. But I would point out that my opponent, Anthony Morocco, was actually exposed in the front page of the Macomb Daily just yesterday for some of his remarks and his appalling behavior. Just two quick examples. This guy is in a candidate interview with the Macomb County Chamber of Commerce, and he said, well, he was more qualified than me because he had a college degree, and I didn't. And the reason I didn't, I'm just going to tell you what he said. He said, because I got knocked up in high school. This is what the guy says. Then there was also in the same story, it's pointed out how he was having an affair with a, a young stripper. Uh, he hired her on the county payroll. Then he fired her. She sues for sexual harassment. It, calls, it cost Macomb County $100,000 in legal fees, and he paid some settlement, which is, you know, sealed. So I'll be very interested to see if anybody starts denouncing him or calling for his uh, uh, resignation or having him step aside or whatever. But I would guess that we'll probably have the sound of crickets over here, except I will tell you from my good friend, uh, our county executive, Mark Hackle, who has endorsed me in this race. And this, these are some of the reasons why. You know, I'm running because we want clean water and we want clean government. And that's really my vision for this office. Well, I, you know, it doesn't matter what I say. I never am trying to get anyone to vote for anyone. I just give my opinions on certain things. Everything I know about you, Congresswoman Candace Miller, uh, whether you got pregnant in high school or not isn't really the, the issue. It, really, I, it's not true. Okay. I think I would remember that. <laughs> I, my God, I hope you would remember that. But but but, even but be if that it be that as if it, whether it was true it, or not true, and you're saying now here it's not true. Okay, I know you to be a fabulously honest, hardworking person that I'd want to represent me in any office you'd ever want to run for. So. And and I respect Mark Hackle a lot. So you're telling me Macomb County Executive Mark Hackle has endorsed you. So uh, you don't have to prove anything here. But I'm sorry that you you find yourself in a situation where people would stoop so low, must feel so uh, challenged by you that they would come up with this kind of stuff. It's just bizarre. And as I say, sometimes people say things. Well, in Trump's case, that was a private conversation. He's apologized. In this case... This is a, these are, I don't know how many people were there, a dozen or whatever. These are just members of the Chamber of Commerce doing a candidate interview. And this guy makes these kind of comments. So, you know, I would just say uh, actions, uh, you know, words are actions. You can take a look at that. But I this, never would have expected you to be in this kind of a battle, ever. It's distasteful. It's unfortunate. And uh, I, I must tell you, honestly, I don't know Anthony Morocco, but... This doesn't uh, bode well in my world for somebody doing something like this and going after you the way he has, I, no matter how threatened he feels. Um, anyway. Well, as I say, I'm running for this office principally because we want to clean up our water. And, you know, I've been on your show so many, many times, and we've talked about how we can uh, stop sewer overflows, stop beach closures, how we can protect our magnificent Great Lakes. That really is my passion. And, uh, I'm, you know, I'm just hopeful that if the people of Macomb, and, and just like our country, certainly in this case, and the people of Macomb, it's always up to the people. The people will choose. And, uh, and if they do choose me, I hope to be able to use all my experiences to have a, a real positive impact on our community here, not just in Macomb, because, look, the water's traveling down uh, past Wayne County and into uh, Lake Erie, et cetera. We need to clean this stuff up. We don't have to live this we way. Need, we need to clean it up. We need to protect it, that's for sure. Yep. And, and I don't mean just keeping it clean. I mean protect it from being taken away from us. And somebody strong like you with your Washington experience is going to know how to go about doing that as well. Congresswoman Candace Miller, thanks for being with us as always.